This smart ring knew that I was sick before I did. Hello, Elizabeth here, and today I'm so excited to be sharing my experience with the Ultra Human Ring Air. This ring is a wearable smart device that tracks your sleep, your recovery, your overall wellness, and a ton of other metrics. Ultra Human generously sent me this ring for free, but this isn't sponsored. These are all my honest opinions. I've been wearing it almost 24 seven for the last six weeks. Let's talk about it. Smart rings have become very popular recently. There are a few different brands that make them. One of the main things that makes this ring different is that there is no subscription fee. Another very popular ring hides all of your stats behind a paywall. If you're not paying a monthly subscription, you can't view any of your data. With Ultra Human, you purchase the ring and you have access to the app that includes all of your data, tons and tons of metrics, and you never have to pay a subscription fee to have access to that. The Ultra Human Ring Air is also currently the world's lightest wearable sleep tracker. And I can confirm it is extremely lightweight. I forget that I'm wearing it. It's really, really comfortable, even more comfortable than my wedding bands. And it's also just beautiful. It looks like a piece of jewelry. I would have no idea that this is a smart device and it goes really well with the other jewelry in my collection. If you're already looking to purchase one, I do have a discount code with Ultra Human, which you can get at ultrahuman.com slash Elizabeth Sparkles, or by entering the promo code UHEA10 at checkout. Something really genius about the way they operate is after you order your ring, they first send you a sizing kit. It includes rings in all of the different sizes that they offer, plus instructions on how to know which one is the best fit for you. So you can match up your size, wear it for a couple days to make sure it's the best fit. And then you can go ahead and select the finish of the ring you want, which they also include visuals of in the ring sizing kit. Even the packaging is really beautiful. It felt just like unboxing an Apple product. So it definitely matches the high end price point of this device. So far, it's been pretty durable. It does have some scratches on it, but there is no rubbing off of the gold finish. It still looks nice and shiny, particularly from a distance. You do have to look up close to see the scratches. But like I said, I wear this ring all day, every day, so it's not surprising that there are some scratches on the band. It's totally comfortable to wear all night long as well while it's tracking your sleep. The number one thing that I have found most impressive about this device is just how accurate the data is compared to what I'm actually seeing happen in my body. Like I mentioned at the start, this ring actually knew that I was sick before I did. I got a notification from the Ultra Human app telling me that a high immune load was detected and that I might be getting sick soon. It told me to prioritize rest and recovery and to take it easy and get some sleep because there were some signs that I may be starting to develop a sickness. I felt completely fine at the time, so I was kind of surprised to get this notification, but then two days later, I got hit with a terrible cold. I was so super sick. I didn't see it coming at all. So I thought that was pretty crazy. It was before I had a tickle in my throat or anything. We also moved houses during the time that I've been wearing this ring and it kept telling me that I was immensely stressed, which was true, I was immensely stressed. And since we finished moving, it hasn't told me that again. So it definitely seems to be able to pick up my stress levels accurately. One morning, it asked me if I had eaten a heavy meal before bed. We almost always eat dinner between five and 6 p.m. But that night we had a long day and I ended up eating at like 9.30 p.m. And I thought it was so crazy that it knew that. It told me that there were signs that my body was trying to digest a meal, which was interrupted interrupting a deep restful sleep. Isn't that crazy? All of this is happening through my fingers somehow. I've also found the sleep tracking to be very accurate. I have a baby girl and a lot of the time I have to get up with her in the night, but sometimes I don't even get up with her in the night. I just overhear her crying on the monitor and I'll wake up for like two seconds just to see that she's okay. She falls back to sleep and then I go back to sleep. And even on the nights when I haven't physically gotten up and gotten out of bed, there are notes in my sleep tracking that say I was awake for like the few minutes that I was just disturbed by the monitor. So it's not just motion sensing that I got up and went to the bathroom or something like that. It really seems to recognize when I'm like conscious versus unconscious. And it doesn't just tell you how long you slept, it tells you how restful your sleep is. Sometimes I'll wake up groggy, even if I got the same eight hours of sleep I got two nights ago and woke up feeling great. And I have found that the app data matches. On the nights where I feel great in the morning, it tells me that I had a really restful sleep. And on mornings where I feel groggy, it recognizes that I didn't sleep as great as well. And I feel this way before reading the report. So it's not just placebo. It says I slept poorly and now I feel terrible. It's not like that. I notice it in my body before I even check the report. So overall, I've been highly, highly impressed with the app's ability to recognize what's going on in my body through my finger. I don't know how these tiny sensors know so much about me. It's a little bit scary. 
I am also an Apple Watch user and I do love my Apple Watch. I wear it almost every day as well. And I think there's a place for both of these devices in my life, but let's talk about some of the key differences here. Overall, if you're really into fitness and tracking your workouts, I definitely think the Apple Watch makes more sense because the ring is obviously screenless. Whenever you wanna track a workout, you have to pull out the app, choose to go into workout mode and it will track your heart rate while you're working out. You can check your phone at any time to see those stats. Personally, I really like being able to check my wrist at any time mid-workout and see my calories burned, how long I've been working out. That to me is really intuitive and makes a lot of sense. Pulling out my phone and checking an app isn't something I really wanna do mid-workout. I also really like to see my calories burned during the workout, which you don't get to see on the Ultra Human Ring. The ring is really focused on your heart rate and your cardiovascular health, which are obviously very important metrics for your wellness. And you're certainly getting a more accurate heart rate read from your ring at all times. My Apple Watch isn't very snug. It's definitely not always tracking my heart rate the way that the ring is. And even if I switch to a different strap that makes it more snug, I find that uncomfortable. I don't like to have a tight strap on my wrist while I'm working out or at any time really. The ring is super snug and you just want to make sure that the sensors that are inside are always at the base of your finger, but you're never going to lose a minute of tracking your stats when you have it on. I've tracked workouts on both my watch and my ring at the same time and the heart rate is pretty similar between the two of them. However, my step count is wildly different between the two of them. We're talking like 3000 steps in disagreement. I don't know which one is more accurate, but I will say each of them are consistent to their own data. That 3000 step gap stays around the same every day. So your ring definitely knows if you've done more steps than you did yesterday, that's all accurate. I just don't know whether I've done the 10,000 my watch says I've taken or the 7,000 my ring has taken. The battery life on the Ultra Human Ring is six days and I have found that to be accurate. I've only had to charge it about once a week since I got it. However, my Apple Watch battery is horrendous and I have to charge it every single night. This is part of the reason I never wear my Apple Watch for sleep tracking. And even if I did, it's just nowhere near as comfortable as the ring. I don't like to have it on my wrist at night. It's just not comfortable to sleep in. But if I wanted to, I couldn't because I would much rather have it on during the day, tracking my workouts and my steps, and it will die during the day if I don't charge it every single night. So the battery life of the ring crushes the battery life of the Apple Watch for sure. The charger that the ring came with is really nice. It's this little USB-C plug-in base that you just sit the ring right on top of. You just need to line up those sensors and it will start charging. For me so far, it has fully charged in less than two hours every time. And the app sends you a notification when the battery is getting low. Super great that if I'm going away for a weekend trip, I know to just charge it before I go. And then I don't even have to pack a charger with me. It's gonna last all weekend. I do have a really nice watch band for my Apple Watch that makes it look more like jewelry, but I just don't find the Apple Watch very pretty. Like this big black box on my wrist. It's just not very elegant, is it? I attended a few weddings this summer and I took my Apple Watch off for them because it didn't feel fancy enough for the occasion. But I loved that I was able to keep on my Ultra Human Ring because it's an accessory. It's a piece of jewelry that fits right in with everything else. So that's a huge win is just how much prettier it is than the Apple Watch. The Ring has a ton of data about your body and wellness that the Apple Watch doesn't have. So overall, I would say that if you're more into wellness, then the Ultra Human Ring is a great fit for you. But if you're more into fitness, you probably want to lean towards a watch. I like both. I'm going to keep wearing both. Something I found, oh, my baby's awake. What the heck are you doing, girl? Go back to bed, princess. It's all right. Go back to bed. Nar, nar. Be right back. Something I found really cool about the Ultra Human Ring is that after a few days of doing workouts, I got notifications telling me that because of my physical activity, my cardio fitness was actually performing better than it had been. It listed some metrics that had improved because of the workouts I'd done. I've had a really bumpy roller coaster of a fitness journey, but something that I find really motivating is seeing improvements in something measurable. Typically, it takes several weeks of consistent activity to actually see a change on a scale or in your body measurements, but being told that my actual cardio fitness and my health is improving as a result of my physical activity only after a few days, that is so motivating. I know in theory, there are lots of great reasons to work out even if you're not seeing a change on the scale, but I think we can all agree actually seeing a measurable change is way, way more satisfying and more motivating than just knowing it's good for your body. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect to see an improvement in things like VO2 max and heart rate variability just because I did a few days of workouts. That alone, 
alone for me personally is a great reason to invest in this device. Anything that encourages me to actually change my own habits and live a healthier lifestyle is worth an investment for sure. In addition to giving you the data of what's happening in your body, it also gives you actionable tips on how to use that information. So instead of just telling you that you didn't get a restful sleep, it'll note, hey, your body temperature was actually lower than it usually is at night. This might mean that your room was too cold to be able to have a restful sleep. Consider warming up a little bit tonight. Or, hey, you seem to be very stimulated late in the afternoon. Did you have a lot of caffeine? Maybe consider tapering off your caffeine consumption a little bit earlier today. To me, data is useless if I don't know what to do with it. And there are so, so, so many metrics in the app that it can actually be a little bit overwhelming trying to figure out what you're supposed to do with all of that. So I really appreciate that the app gives you a full report on all the different metrics and what that actually means for you, what you can do actionably to rest better, recover better, have better overall fitness. Ultra Human is also really big on circadian rhythm. The app will tell you what times of day you should try to get outside and take in some sunlight in order to support your circadian rhythm for more restful sleep and recovery. I like to use this as a guideline for when I'll take my baby to the park. And I do find it just sets me up for a better day when I go outside first thing in the morning and take in some fresh air and sunlight. The caffeine window is a nice thought. They recommend you don't drink any coffee within, I think it's the first two hours of waking up so that you can come to your own alertness naturally and avoid having a crash later in the afternoon. That does make sense, doesn't it? <sighs> but nothing's gonna stop me from drinking a coffee when I first wake up in the morning. If anyone has actually tried that, please leave a comment and let me know if it has changed your life. But it is nice to know this is the time of day you should cut off your coffee consumption in order to have a better sleep. And it's actually different every day depending on how you rested the night before. Sometimes I get a notification that says you rested really great last night, so today you have some extra caffeine flexibility if you wanna drink a little bit more today. Again, no one decides how much coffee I drink except for me. But having a guideline is nice. One of the features that I think is a top selling point for these types of rings is cycle tracking. The Ultra Human Ring has the option to do cycle tracking and a pregnancy mode. It integrates with a bunch of other apps that you might already use. The one that I use for cycle tracking called Clue is integrated into the app as well. So it takes your previous data and then uses things like your temperature and probably some other metrics to figure out when you're probably fertile, when to expect your period. And those are really, really helpful metrics if you're trying to get pregnant, trying not to get pregnant or just trying to understand your body. My cycle's all messed up right now because I have an IUD. So unfortunately I wasn't able to test this out, but I'm really looking forward to being able to use that feature if we try to have another baby in the future. The Ultra Human app includes an incredible amount of data. Everything you see in this screen recording is things that are just included in your one-time purchase of the Ultra Human ring. It can be a bit overwhelming. And while they do have descriptions and things that explain what different things mean, I have found myself doing a lot of Googling and talking to ChatGPT, just trying to understand what any of it means. So it might be a steep learning curve if you're not already into biohacking or wellness, but I love stats and data, and it's honestly been really enjoyable learning more about wellness in general and what each of these things mean for myself personally. It also sends a lot of notifications and those can be overwhelming as well, but it's very customizable and you can turn off anything that you don't wanna see. All the information you get notified about is also in the app anyway, so you can just do a check once or twice a day of anything that you might've missed if you turn off those notifications. The thing that I find most overwhelming about the app is when my scores are low. If I didn't sleep well and my recovery scores are low, the app makes me feel like I'm going to die. Everything on the home screen turns red and the progress bars are way down at the bottom. I don't know, mentally it just like gives me a little bit of anxiety feeling like my human batteries are about to die and I need to do something about it. I was talking to my husband about it and he was like, oh, it's like when you're playing the Sims and their needs aren't being met and they're basically just laying on the floor with all of their bars at zero. And I was like, yes, exactly. I'm like a dying Sim. This happens on days where I have to get up many times in the night with my baby or if I'm just sick. And at that point, there's nothing I can really do about it. Like I didn't get up in the night on purpose. I know I should have slept better. So I find it a little bit overwhelming being told, you didn't sleep well. Sleep is very important for your overall wellness and immune function and recovery. And you need to get a better sleep tonight. Like, I know I would love to get a better sleep tonight, but you're making me feel like there's something seriously wrong with me. 
So that's a little much. It also keeps telling me that my heart rate is dropping way too late in the night and that needs attention. But the fixes for that aren't very immediate. So I'm just being told every day that my heart rate drops too late. And that also makes me feel like there's something seriously wrong with me. So it can be a little bit anxiety inducing in that way. I definitely prefer to look at the app when all my scores are green and I'm an A plus functioning body. My sim stays alive all day long. Another thing I find kind of funny is that you do have the option to pay extra for AFib detection. This is something they call a power plug, which is basically an additional extension onto what is already included in the app. It only costs like a few dollars a month, but I just find it funny that the ring has that functionality and they're like, we know that something's wrong with your heart, but we're not gonna tell you unless you give us a few dollars a month. <laughs> they boast having no monthly subscription fee like their competitors, which is true, they don't, and that's awesome. I just think it would be extra awesome if they included that AFib detection as well. Overall, the Ultra Human Ring Air has definitely impressed me and I do plan to continue wearing it and using it. I'm blown away by the accuracy and how much it knows about me and my body just from this tiny little sensor on my finger. It's definitely an investment, it's not cheap, but the price is comparable to the other smart rings on the market and you don't have to pay a subscription fee to have access to all of this data. So is it a worthwhile investment? Well, I think if you're someone who's really into fitness and you mostly just wanna track your workouts and your steps, maybe not. But if you're someone who wants to understand your overall wellness, improve your sleep and your rest, and get insights on how you can actually improve your health and your cardiovascular performance, it's definitely gonna be a good fit for you and a worthwhile investment. If you are looking to purchase an Ultra Human Ring Air, they were kind enough to give me a discount code for my viewers. To get this discount, you can visit ultrahuman.com slash Elizabeth Sparkles or manual enter the promo code UHEA10 at checkout. Thanks so much for watching and let me know in the comments if you've tried out the Ultra Human Ring or another fitness tracker and what your thoughts are. See you later.